So here we go with part two of our tutorial on getting MDB up and running. Uh, when we left it in at the end of uh, the first part, we uh, had this page up and running, uh, the home page of our uh, EC2 machine. Now points to the MDB virtual appliance uh, portal page, and it actually gives you instructions on how to get MDB up and running, but I'm going to go through those now and show you how I do it if you're using Windows um, as I am. Um, in part one we saw the use of a piece of software known as Putty which provides a, an SSH client uh, for kind of terminal access into the EC2 machine. I'm, also, I'm going to now use another piece of software known as WinSCP which um, will allow us to uh, edit files and, and manipulate the, um, the directories and so on. I find it uh, a really good piece of software. If you want to know where to get it, go to Google and look up WinSCP. So uh, the first thing we need to do is go into Elastic Fox and get hold of that DNS name, the public DNS name. Copy it to the clipboard. And now over here I have WinSCP and we're going to click New and in the host name we're going to paste that name in and just like with Putty we need the um, our security key pair so we're going to grab hold of that and click Open and then in our WinSCP login window we click the login button it should then give us a security alert which we say yes to and now it's asking us for the username and that's Ubuntu and it should authenticate itself without needing a password we go. So now we want to navigate to the directory that I'll show you. We want to go up here until we find, get to the root directory. It's running a little bit slowly here for some reason. We want to go to USR and MDB. The installer has created a number of directories and files within them for you. And this is one of them in the USR MDB directory. You'll find this file, mdb.conf.example, which if we double click on it, WinSCP will open it in a text editor. Just drag it over here and you'll be able to see the contents of it. So you'll see that there are two properties here, the administrator access key and the administrator secret key that we've got to define. Now we're actually going to create a new file, the, the one we actually need. If we right click in this window, new file, then we're going to create a file called mdb oops, mdb dot conf and win scp will open a new blank window we're going to then go over to our original one and cut and paste all of its contents into our new window new file and then I'm going to just set up an access key ID of Rob and a pass a secret key one two three four five six seven not very secure but this is just a demo <coughs> in your production version you'd obviously use a, a more sensible combination now 
at this stage if I tried to press um, the file button I'd get uh, a permissions failure. So I'm going to switch over to my um, putty window and I'm going to go into the slash USR directory and I'm going to change the permissions to the directory called MDB. And having done that, I now should be able to go back into this window and click the file button. And if we look over here, then we should find after it makes the connection. There we are, there's our mdb.conf uh, file. Now having created that, that's the configuration file needed for MDB. So we'll go back to our MDB homepage, this one here. And what I do next is you'll see this line here, it says from a browser issue the URL, this guy here. Now we already have our domain name up in the top, so I'm just going to copy everything up to that MDB, like that, and Control c to copy that. And now I'll go up to the browser location window and replace everything up to that EWD, just like that. And now if I press Enter, we should get this response and you'll see that it's come back with a simple DB um, like response, an XML response and if you get that response that means it's worked. And We'll be able to prove that if we click the back button on the browser to go back to that home page and refresh it this time we should see the login and there we are and now if we log in with the with the credentials we put in username of Rob secret key of one two three four five six seven and log in we should be taken to the front page of the portal and there we are MDB is now up and running and ready to go um, and any um, uh, access to MDB would need to use a username of uh, user ID of Rob and a secret key of one two three four five six seven and it should then work. So that's it now up and running. The third part will demonstrate uh, it in use using a um, a client piece of client software known as uh, Balso. So that's it for now.